Ionic Compounds Conducting Electricity by KScience.com In this video, we're going to learn how to use an experiment to prove a solid ionic compound cannot conduct electricity and a molten or aqueous ionic compound can conduct electricity. To do this, you need a cell or power pack connected to wires and two electrodes. The positive terminal is on the left and the negative terminal is on the right. And then we fill the container with the molten or aqueous ionic compound. This is the cell, or it can also be a power pack. This is the negative electrode as it's connected to the negative terminal on the cell. And this is the positive electrode as it's connected to the positive terminal on the cell. This is the molten or aqueous ionic compound which takes the shape of its container as the ions are free to move. This particle diagram shows how the ions are randomly arranged and touching as the ionic bonds are broken. The red circle represents a cation, which is a positively charged ion, and the blue circle represents an anion, which is a negatively charged ion. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The electrodes will attract oppositely charged ions. So you can see how the cations are attracted to the negative electrodes as they are free to move and opposite charges in science always attract. So this means the anions are attracted to the positive electrode based on the rule that opposite charges always attract. The cations are attracted to the negative electrode allowing the electricity to flow and the anions are attracted to the positive electrodes also allowing the electricity to flow. These electrodes have special names. The negative electrode is known as the cathode. Always think to yourself cation cathode, cation cathode. The cation is attracted to the cathode and the positive electrode is known as the anode. Always think to yourself anion anode. Anion, anode. The anion is always attracted to the anode. The free moving ions allow an electric current to flow. If the ions cannot move because the ionic compound is in a solid, fixed arrangement, then there will be no electric current. Remember, it's the ions that move towards the electrodes, not the electrons. The electrons move within the wires. To prove an electric current is flowing in this circuit, you can use a bulb or an ammeter. When an electric current flows through a bulb, the bulb will turn on. And when an electric current flows through an ammeter, there will be readings showing the current. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This shows the same apparatus set up with a solid ionic compound in the container. Notice how the solid ionic compound does not take the shape of the container. This is because the ions are not free to move. They are held in place by strong ionic bonds. As the ions are not free to move towards the electrodes, an electric current cannot flow. Therefore, a bulb will not work and an ammeter will have no readings. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.